I mean, I'm just glad I didn't pass out from the from the overwhelming sensation that I had when I walked out there. I wasn't prepared. I'm backstage thinking about what I'm going to do, what I'm going to, you know, is my clothing right? Is my hair right? Is all this stuff well, right? Do I know the song? That was, the whole night was overwhelming to me. People are coming and going. The choir guys come in and they come knocking on the door. We're in our room rehearsing with Dan. He had Singing. just flown in. Making fun of us, might I add. Singing techno but music. But they knew it. They did know it. From that point on, it just, man, that whole experience was just wild. I was very pleased having gotten to see some of those very same people that I had uh, seen and talked to 20 years ago. Um, that was very satisfying. Taking that stage was gratifying, and yet, like I had shared, it was a little unnerving at the same time. From what I understand, it was about 15 years. <laughs> I know as a fan of the other bands that were playing, if I had looked on that list and seeing that Undercover was going to be there, and the Altar Boys and the Choir and 441, I would have been totally excited to go see it. As a fan, it didn't surprise me to see everyone else out there excited as well that we, we were all able to do this still and willing to do it. As far as Crumbacher is concerned, it, was, it seemed almost like instinct in a way. As crazy as all of our lives are with all of our commitments, it was amazing how almost effortlessly we were able to find a way to make it happen. And then the night of the show, to not only see our band be able to do that, but to see these others come together and do the same thing, it was a lot of fun. I would have to say I was, I was looking forward to seeing Undercover again. I remember the first time I ever saw them, I just felt like there's a place for me. I got to the, the venue before the first band started sound checking, and I just was there all day watching all the bands sound check. Because, yeah, it was, it was great to see all of those guys again and hear them again, and I would have regretted missing any of them. But mostly, I think, realizing that that music has had an impact 20 years later, and it's still going on, and there's still people out there showing it to their kids and listening to it, even ever since that night we've gotten letters on our website and people saying, wow, I still listen to this. I still even have my incandescent tape and makes you realize that music affects so many people and has such a lasting effect on people. And to know that something you did back then, 20 years ago, has had an effect like that, it doesn't compute usually, but it also lets you know that God did that for a reason and, and that ultimately he has a plan, you know, with, with every little step of your life. And you say yes to doing something like that. It's not just a, you know, it's not just a little thing you're doing.